Right, first of all, welcome to uh, the Alexander Stadium and known now as the Moonflake Stadium as well. Here you are, a, a new signing, how are you feeling? Uh, I'm really buzzing to be here, just can't wait to get started for the season ahead now. Can't wait to get back in pre-season Monday and hopefully hit the ground running. How important was it that you, you got your future sorted out pretty quickly through your representatives and yourself and, and this club? Yeah, I feel it's always better to come in the first day so you get to know the lads. You don't really want to be coming in halfway through pre-season and you're chasing all the other ones for fitness and all that. So I'm really glad to be in the first day in pre-season. Yeah, we'll talk a bit more about how you're looking forward to a, a grueling pre-season because they're all pretty grueling, whatever football club you are. But let's turn the clock back and tell our viewers and, and listeners on the official website of a little bit about Ryan Cooney's career, where it all started and what you've, what you've been through. Well, it started when I was at uh, 60s at Berra and I uh, got come all the way there and then obviously things took a turn for the worse and then I got in, when I was left there I got interest from Burnley and then I got loaned out to Morecambe halfway through that season and then I never looked back since I got loaned out, got promotion there and then we was unlucky to get relegated last year but now, now I'm here, well I push on for career at Canada. Just turn the clock back again to the other days at Burnley. Obviously, you know they, they were a big club that you've been involved in. What experience did that give you? Just the know-how how to win, how to win games, and what it, what it takes to win games. During you go through sticky parts in games, but just to see it out, be determined, and just do anything, really do anything to win. And your time at Morecambe, you, you spent great time there, didn't you? You know, I think two. You've been involved in their promotion season and you've had a, a couple of full seasons in, in League One as a player as well. Yeah, I really enjoyed my time there. It was cut short the first first time due to COVID, but when I got brought back, we, we had a good group of lads and we got promoted through Wembley, so that was a good experience. And then especially the last two seasons in League One, playing against all the teams we came against, it was the experiences there, you, it's top notch. What swayed you then to Crowley Zander? Because there wouldn't be other clubs having a look round and weighing it all up and looking at the uh, facts and figures and the stats on on, your, on yourself. What, what swayed you to come to Crew? Well, I've played against Crew a couple of times in my career and to be honest, I like the way this style of play. I like how the full-backs get involved, I like how they play through the thirds. And I just like, I just like the, the total football that they try and play. And obviously, it's a club for known to improving players as well, so I'd like to hope to try and improve myself as well. You talk about improving yourself, you've got over 150 games, I think, already under your belt, and just only still 23, so the experience is in, in, the, in the locker for you. Yeah, the experience is there. I just, there's cert, some certain aspects of my game that I want to improve myself, and hopefully coming to a club like this will help me improve them. And also, those experiences you've had of winning promotion, You'll hopefully try and rub off on on your new teammates, you know, as you start the new season here. Yeah, um, well, this this club was only in League One two years ago, and now, I, I, personally, I believe they should be still in League One. But now I want to try and bring my experience of what it takes to get promoted to try and help push it over the line. You would have assessed how League Two is made up. Obviously, you didn't know where you were going until this actually move was done. You might have been a League One player still, but now you're a League Two player. It's a a good old spicy division, isn't it, this time yeah, around? Yeah, there's, <laughs> there's some good teams in there, some big teams in there. You've got the Wrexham, Stockport, Notts County, Tramway, all them big teams. But I feel like we just got to go out. If we go out every week, the way we hopefully get good results, people will surprise package. Were you, were you sort of swayed as well by the ambition of the manager? It's, it's his first full pre-season on his own as the, the manager, a young manager as well. But were you impressed with how he, he conducted the interviews and everything? Yeah, um, he told me I was he wanted to play and that really gave me some interest in coming here because as a, per, as a player I like to pass the ball around and with what he was saying to me, that's the way he seems to like to play as well. So pre-season is all much ready to, to be here. You've got a little smile on your face at the moment when I mention pre-season, but uh, you're used to it all now, aren't you? Yeah, I'm used to it, but it's, ne it's never easy though. It's always hard, no matter how many, how many you do. I know I'm only young, but it's always going to be hard. But you're looking forward to what is the next challenge for you in your career, because you feel this can make you a, a big step forward. Yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm excited. I can't wait to get going.